Guys and gals, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, where today I am reviewing the Convert Sleeping Bag Hybrid Quilt. This is from Enlightened Equipment, and I can tell you this already, folks. This is one of the best sleeping bags, one of the best quilts that I have ever used. I ordered this to my specifications. I've been testing it out throughout the course of the winter. I have it rated for 20 degrees, and it has been a top-notch performer. Yes, the price of this isn't necessarily cheap, but the quality, the low weight, the high degree of warmth is very impressive. And in my opinion, well worth the money. And with that being said, folks, in this episode, you will find the pros, the cons, my opinions, my agenda-free opinions on this product. You're not going to find affiliate links. I'm not sponsored, none of that stuff. I'm here to share my thoughts and my thoughts alone, you can make up your own mind. To start off here, let's do a component breakdown of what you receive with this quilt with this sleeping bag. You get the quilt. You receive a seal nylon stuff sack. You receive two elastic straps so that you can secure the sleeping bag to your sleeping pad. And you also receive a cotton storage bag. Looking at the quilt here specifically, this is why they call it the convert. You have a center zip that goes all the way up. And it also goes all the way down. Down at the bottom, you have two draw pulls to cinch it up. And when it's cinched up, that creates the foot box. From there, you can open up the sleeping bag into a quilt. It is these features that make this sleeping bag, this quilt, so versatile. Because of the versatility that this offers you, you can use this in a wider range of conditions than you could with just a sleeping bag alone or a quilt alone. I have an entire video going over the pros and cons of quilts and sleeping bags. You should definitely check that out if you're not familiar with a quilt or a sleeping bag in general. With the Convert, you can customize this any way that you want to. For an example, there are many different colors that you can order this from, and you can select the outside color and also the inside. When it comes to temperature ratings, again, you can get this any way that you want it. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0, and so on. There's multiple down types to choose from. 850, 950, you can order it with the draft collar, and you can also get this in different lengths and widths. You can get this in extra short, short, regular, long, and extra long. Widths, slim, regular, wide, and extra wide. The price is going to vary greatly depending on how you customize the bag. The bag that I ordered, the quilt that I ordered, whatever you want to call this, the hybrid that I ordered, $480. Now let me go ahead and tell you how I customized this for myself. I went with the short length regular width. I added the draft collar. I went with the 950 down. The temperature rating is 20 degrees. And both the inside and outside fabrics are 10 denier nylon. The bag features green fabric on the inside, black fabric on the outside. The zipper is YKK. And the weight of my bag came out to be one pound, eight ounces with the stuff sack. As far as features go, there are plenty more with this bag. There are snaps all the way around this. You also have the connection points for the straps so you can attach this to a sleeping pad. The bag itself features vertical baffles and one of the most impressive water repellent finishes that I've ever seen. I had this bag out for a trip where I was testing out a tent and while it was raining, I was away and I came back to the tent to discover a gigantic pool of water in the center of this bag that had not absorbed into the bag itself. I've never seen a water repellent treatment done like this before because this is extreme. It works incredibly well and I'm very, very impressed by it. Along the zipper on both sides, you have draft blocking tubes that run all the way down, and they do an excellent job of preventing cold air from seeping into the bag itself. There's the draft collar along the top. There's a draft collar along the bottom, and you have cinches at the bottom for the foot box, and you also have a cinch here at the top. Going from quilt mode to sleeping bag mode is very simple. Attach the zipper, do the draw pulls, for your foot box, and then you're good to go. Now that I've gone over the features and stats of this product, let's go to the pros and cons. First off, the quality of this product is excellent. Top notch all the way. And as far as the craftsmanship goes, it's perfect. There's no loose threads. Nothing looks sloppy here. Everything has been done expertly. And that's what I would expect for the price of this bag. Speaking of price, in my opinion, this is very much fair considering that this is handmade in the United States. The quality is very high. And when you compare this offering to other cottage companies here in the United States, the price is very much fair. It's in line with everyone else. And in fact, 
it's less expensive in some cases. Next up, the warmth to weight ratio. It is absolutely excellent. One pound, eight ounces for this bag. That's incredible. 20 degrees. It's incredibly lightweight, and that's my next pro. It is impressively lightweight. I mean, it really is. Of course, one of the biggest pros for this product is that it can be used as a sleeping bag and also as a quilt. That means you have a ton of versatility there. You can use it in conditions way above 20 degrees and not be uncomfortable because you can open this up. You can allow air to come in, but if it gets cold, zip it up, pull it tight, you're good to go. Now, speaking of which, I would recommend that you get a draft collar if you're going to use this for cold weather. It puts a draft collar at the top and also down at the foot box. They're needed, in my opinion. So for me, they're well worth the money. The performance of this bag has been excellent. And talking about the draft collars, they do everything that they're supposed to do. They block out drafts. The temperature rating for this bag is 100% accurate. I've always been comfortable with it. And in fact, I've used it a little bit below 20 degrees and still was very comfortable. The water repellent treatment is on another level. It's very, very impressive. Through the website for this company, you can customize this bag any way that you want to for a wide range of situations and conditions. When used as a sleeping bag, it's easy to get in and out of. You have the foot box, which you can open or close. You can easily attach this to a sleeping pad and used in the quilt formation. And with that being said, let's jump over to the cons. First with price. No matter how you swing this, this is a very expensive product. It is what it is. And as I mentioned before, when you compare this to other cottage company offerings, even products from big companies, the price on this is still very, very fair. The other con that I have for this is the zipper. While smooth at times, it does have a tendency to get hung up. I would say that, yes, this does get caught, but it's not overly bad. It's not super obnoxious like some bags, but it will happen. It will happen. Something else to consider is that with this product being a hybrid, there is a little bit more room inside of this than your typical mummy sleeping bag. So there can be some cool pockets within this because the fabric, the insulation is pulled away from you, is laying away from you. In my opinion, the trade-off with the versatility of having the sleeping bag and also the quilt is well worth that. Again, down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, this has proven to be very warm, very comfortable, and I've had no issues with waking up being cold or anything like that. Throughout the fall and the winter, this has been my sleeping bag of choice, my quilt of choice. And in truth, I cannot recommend this product high enough. It is an excellent performer. Yes, it is expensive, but it's not overly expensive, especially when you compare it to what else is out there. It is incredibly lightweight. It's handmade. It's made in the United States, which is important to me. I'm all about made in America as long as the price isn't insane. I think back to the Kelty One Man Field Tent. The version that was made outside of the country sold for like $150, but the version that was made in the U.S. sold for like $650 or something like that. That type of discrepancy puts the product in a realm that it's just simply not worth it. But with something like this, I mean, it's very comparable to what you're going to find made in the U.S. and outside. So, in my opinion, it is well worth the money. The versatility of this product really is amazing. You can use this in a wide range of conditions temperatures, and so on. All you have to do is zip it up when you're cold, unzip when you need some air, and you can use this longer and in more trips. You can use this inside of a tent. You can use this under a tarp. You can use this inside of a bivy, just as I have. In fact, the adventures that you've seen throughout the fall and the winter, I've been using this bag in most of those trips. And as you've seen in those adventures, while cold, while snowy, while windy, I've been mighty warm. And it's because this bag is an excellent performer. It really is. Now, everyone, I'd like to hear from you all. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts. First off, what do you all think about Enlightened Equipment? What are your experiences with the company? Good and bad? Share those down below. Do any of you all have the Convert bag like I do? If so, share those experiences. I do appreciate it. Again, everyone, this is just an awesome product. I cannot recommend this high enough. The versatility that it offers you is simply amazing. Again, get the draft collar. I think it's worth it. And for now, everyone, I am done. <laughs> Thank you all very much for joining me for this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Again, my name is Luke. The channel is Agenda Free. I share my thoughts, my opinions. That's it. It's not about selling products. I present the information. You make up your own mind. That's how it works here. That's how it works. Strength and honor, everyone. I will see you all soon.